All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. Shakur Stevenson takes some shots at Javante Davis and tells Javante Davis what he doesn't respect about the fight between Javante and Vasily Lomachenko. Let's talk about that because it's a little off in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about two of the best fighters in the world who both happen to be in the same weight division, and that is Shakur Stevenson, the former 126 pound WBO champion, former unified 130 pound champion when he held the WBO and the WBC belt, and the current lightweight WBC champion. And what he had to say about Gervonta Davis and the fight that he may be having with Vasily Lomachenko, which would be a unification fight between the WBA belt that Gervonta holds and the IBF belt that Vasily Lomachenko holds. He says he doesn't respect it. Now, before I get into the details, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you are a long time subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much for your continued support. Um, and shout out to uh, Ashton Ditton, shout out to everybody else out there in the channel, man, that may not be having the best day in the world. Greatly, greatly appreciate you guys support uh, in the chat. Uh, and in the live streams that we do, and most definitely in the super thanks of videos like this. But let's get into this because um, Shakur Stevenson gets a lot of slack uh, for the things that he says. And I think 99% of it is unjustified. He is a young world champion. He's one of the best fighters in the world. He's an undefeated fighter. He's a three division champion. And for him to say that he wants to fight anybody or to say that he is the best fighter in the world and that people can't beat him, what is the man supposed to think? He's never lost a fight, a professional fight. And he's definitely, definitely a very, very highly skilled fighter. So, but the 1%, I think, and I think it's fair to say that, you know, you disagree with everybody about something i when he says that he doesn't respect the lomachenko um gervonta davis fighter gervonta trying to fight uh, uh lomachenko because he knows that shakur is the real threat um i'm assuming that that's what he means that he knows that his real danger is the guy that is younger than him fresher fighter at this point in time, you know, the fighter that's much closer to their prime. And he thinks that, uh, that Gervonta Davis should fight him. Now, here's my problem with this. The fact that you say you don't respect it because I definitely remember Shakur Stevenson saying that that's who he wanted to fight. He wanted to fight Lomachenko. And he said that within the last six, seven months, right? Say, definitely or after the time that he had that last fight, which was not the best performance in the world uh, against Edwin De Los Santos, but still he won the fight and I give him full credit for that. He said after that, he wanted to fight Vasily Lomachenko and he thought that that was a good fight to get to happen now because Vasily Lomachenko is getting older. So what's the problem if Gervonta fights him? If you are okay with fighting Lomachenko, shouldn't he be able to fight Lomachenko? <laughs> So that's just one reason why I have to say, nah, I'm not really feeling that. The other portion of it is the fact that Vasily Lomachenko is the IBF world champion. And I, I personally believe in having consistent standards. And the standard that I have, which may be different than standards that other people have, is that I think that unification fights are always good. Picking one unification fight over another unification to me is, it's, it, it's kind of hard to, if the goal is to be 
undisputed or the best to fight the best and somebody else has a title in that division, in my opinion, it doesn't matter what order you fight them in as long as you fight all of them. When Errol Spence Jr. was at 147 pounds and he got his first opportunity against Kell Brook and he wasn't able to fight Keith Thurman. I didn't have a problem with that. I'm not going to say, well, you know, hey, don't fight. Don't fight. Uh, don't unify a, a championship with uh, Kell Brook or don't fight for a championship against, against Kell Brook or once or when he did had his first unification fight with uh, with Sean Porter, you know, hey, man, you know, you didn't go. I can't remember who I think. Yeah. Keith Thurman, Thurman may have been the WBA champion at the time. Hey, man, don't fight. Don't fight. Keith, uh Sean Porter for the unification fight. Fight Keith Thurman or fight Terrence. It didn't matter. He's whatever order it comes in is fine. Right. Same thing for Terrence Crawford. Same thing for uh, Keith Thurman. As long as you're unifying belts in or or you're as long as you're unifying belts, I'm cool. Now, if you are the unified champion like Canelo Alvarez and you don't have a mandatory, then we can start talking about, hey, what about that guy right there named David Benavides? Right. So uh, that's one reason why I'm like, nah, I can't really buy that. Can't really buy that. Uh, I really can't buy the criticism on that. And then probably the most um, important reason why I would disagree with that is because Vasily Lomachenko is still a very good fighter. Vasily Lomachenko just beat the brakes off of George Cambosis, had a much easier time with George Cambosis than either Tiafimo Lopez had or Devin Haney had with, T with, with George Cambosis. He was the only person to get him out of there. Devin beat him twice, but he never got him out of there. George Cambosis made mince meat of the man. I mean, uh, Lomachenko made mince meat of the guy. Um, same thing with um, just, you know, the fight with Lomachenko and Devin Haney. Lomachenko, a lot of people think Lomachenko beat Devin Haney. So Lomachenko is definitely one of the best guys in that division, right? So um, I don't, I just completely respect the decision and I would respect it either way, right? If, if, Gervonta fought Shakur Stevenson next and not Lomachenko. Sounds good to me as long as I get either one of those fights. And I'm going to tell you, if he fought Berenicek, if he fought the guy, the WBO guy, I, I will take that. The guy that beat Neverati again, because it is a unification fight. Right. So if you have a unification fight is a unification fight. Now, obviously, you know, from fan perspective, you know, there's. Fighter, there are some other fights you think may be more competitive. You may think one guy, one champion is better than the other guy, right? But at the end of the day, man, you can only fight one guy at at, this, at, at a time. And I think you got to respect that. So, number one, Shakur Stevenson himself was willing to fight Vasily Lomachenko. Number two, not the, but again, I'm not doing what a lot of other people do, which is trying to run the man down. No, nah, man. He said, hey, no, nah, I don't respect that. I want him to fight me. I mean, what else is he supposed to say? He wants the fight. That's the biggest fight in the division for anybody. For anybody in that division is Gervonta Davis. Maybe the biggest fight uh, in boxing for any particular fighter outside of Canelo Alvarez and maybe even including Canelo Alvarez if you put the right fight together. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. I don't have a problem with him saying that. But my thought process on it is a there's nothing wrong with the unification, no matter what that unification is. And Vasily Lomachenko is a great fighter and he's still fighting at the top of the game. It is probably as good as any lightweight possibly could be as good as any lightweight out there. And Shakur Stevenson would have a very difficult time with Vasily Lomachenko. So I would respect Shakur fighting Lomachenko. Anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace. 